Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carl Roll. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord or pop up ever. Today, we are doing another request. Um, this time it's a priority request that you get if you are a tier 3 patron and above. And today we are talking about a level reward system. Now, we've made an experience system, we've made a leveling system all all, all, all up. But in some cases you want to reward more active members. And you can do this with a number of ways you can... Uh, grant extra privileges or do this that and the other but one of the ways and one of the more popular ways you can do it um, is to actually give them some roles now this normally is the way that you would give them more privileges of course there are other ways of doing it too but roles are the more popular way and today I'm going to be showing you how to do that so we're going to go into our when I can find my mouse there we go we're going to go lib Cogs and where's the reactions? There it is. No, it's not reactions. I want is exp. Cool. It's a good start. Okay, so we can come down to our add xp function, and when we get our if new level is getting level, so if they level up, we send the level up message. We can also um, check to see if they should get a level reward. So you just check level reward or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, check level rewards and then. Do we, what do we need? We need message and we need to pass a level through. And now we need our function for that. So we could do uh, level rewards and then self message level. And we're going to pass that for now. Um, so there are a number of ways you can uh, check all this stuff. You could do a series of if statements. That is perfectly fine if you're in a single server. It It's a simple way of doing it, but it, it does work. Um, if you're on a multi-server you wouldn't want to do that, you'll want to do it in a database. But of course we are doing a single server thing, so we are literally just going to throw a load of if statements in here. Uh, you can uh, do it via a dictionary, so I did have kind of like this plan that I was considering. So you like set a range and then you provide the role, so this would be a role ID. And you construct the role and then you have the level IDs. But in, in a single server that isn't really necessary. Unless you want an, an easy way to modify things, because this is more easily modifiable. So you can do it like this, but in a single server it's not too necessary, and in a multi-server you would do a database anyway. Um, or you could potentially, I guess, do a JSON, but it's not recommended. You'd want to do it as a, as a database for multi-server. But I will leave database stuff for you to work out. So before we actually get into writing any code we should probably work out a plan of what roles people are going to get at what levels. I'm just going to be using the color roles that we have in the server at the moment um, because we don't really have a leveling system as such. The one that we did have a scratch because it was just annoying people um, <coughs> and it was terribly built. So we're just going to be using these roles. Uh, I'm going to quickly just do some comments in here to to say at what levels people are going to get what roles. So I'll be back in a second with that. So this is the leveling system that I'm just going to use for this video. Of course you can do whatever you want. Um, but I just wanted to put that there so you kind of knew what I was doing. So between levels 5 and 9 they get black, 11 and 19 purple, 20 29 blue etc. As you go down and 50 plus you get red. Uh, they're not going to have any levels between 0 and 4 because I want to show that you can do that as well because it's easy enough to do but yeah now we can actually get coding so the first thing we want to do is you actually want to go from the highest level to the lowest so you can do if level is greater or I suppose greater or equal to 50 what this will do is it will check that level is greater or equal to 50 and I'll show you why I'm quickly doing this so if that turns out as false we then go on to the elif to ask if the level is between uh, is the, is greater than or equal to 40 or less than 50 and then we, we can do that and then we just keep going down like this until and then so essentially what we're doing is it's just an easier way of of being uh, able to iterate through all our all our level ranks to find the right one because if we went from lower numbers up it would just be a bit awkward because say if we did if level is greater than 5 okay cool they get the black roll if level is greater than 11 then cool they get the purple roll oh they get the black roll as well and if you do it elifs then it just defaults to black and it's it's just easier to do it this way um, I'll do it the other way so I'm just going to quickly 
finish off all these LF statements because I've I've started so I'll finish. Uh, and I actually need to do that one properly. Again, in a single server uh, setup, this is fine. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but if you're not going to be changing them, then it doesn't matter too much. So we're going to come up here and we're going to say await message dot author dot add role, and then we're going to do message dot guild dot get role, and then we're going to get our Cappy Eddie. We're going to put that there, and then we're going to message dot author dot remove role, message dot guild dot get role. And then we're gonna copy ID from here. Do this because if their level is greater than or equal to fifty, the only role that they're gonna have—I sh I should say actually before I go into this explanation—this is not stacked. If you if you want it to be stacked, then don't include this. <laughs> um, actually, you should really. Hang on. I'll I'll explain this first. Uh, so. Uh, if you do want it to be stacked, then you don't want it to remove the role, so you just won't have this line, you'll just have the add. If you don't want it to be stacked, which I personally prefer, because otherwise it just gets into a mess of roles. So you can see, like, in in service, you kind of pile up the roles pretty quickly, so I have a lot of them here. Um, and I, in a leveling system, I wouldn't want all these other leveling roles on top of the, I think it's like 10 or 11 or something ridiculous I have. It's quite a lot. I think it's those all have purposes as well, so it's, it's complicated role structure in that server. Um, so that's why we're doing that. We do ideally want to check to make sure that they have the roles before the. Actually, I, I can't remember if you might not need to. I can't remember if um, if the library errors or not. That'll be an interesting. I'll, I'll look it up, see if I can find that out, because I actually don't know. Okay, so I've had a look, and it literally does not say at all which is annoying so I'm gonna add the checks just in case because I can't be asked to watch it error so we're gonna say if uh, and we're gonna have new role I'm gonna use the walrus operator that is Python 3.8 only as I've said in the FAQ so if our new role is not in member dot uh, it's message to author dot roles then we want to add new role and if old role message.author, I don't know why I'm doing that or message.girls.get role it's not even message.author so I don't know why I'm saying that in message.author.roles whoops, it is then we want to remove it so essentially what we're checking here is if the new role is not already in their roles then we add the role if it is or if the if the old role is still in their roles goodness then we add that in theory we don't actually need the second check do we because if they get in the new role in theory they will have the old role taken away and then if this never fires this also never needs to fire so in theory we can actually just get rid of this second line um, we do, however, <coughs> still need this bit. <laughs> so we can probably just put that in there and streamline it a little bit. So when I'm just doing a check, we add the the, the new role and remove the old role. It doesn't matter which way around you do it. Um, I mean, it literally doesn't matter which way around you do it, so I'm just going to leave it as that. So now we just copy and paste this and replace all the IDs. So this is the tedious bit that I am going to edit out because you don't need to see me do all this for every single role so I'll see you in a second okay so here we have our final code it is quite the block I'll be honest but this is alright so we have all our all our IDs note in the last one we don't actually need to remove any roles because they wouldn't have any roles to begin with and I believe that we should be ready to go. So I'm going to go into the database and I'm going to manipulate my my XP so I can actually get these roles so I can actually show you things. Uh, so it'd be XP and I've got to find my ID in this mess. Goodness. There's people in, with 
there's people in the server with 17 digit IDs, my god, there's some long standing Discord citizens here, so I'm just going to copy my ID and I'm going to filter for it, there we go, so I already have, I'm already at level 2, so if, I don't know, 500, I don't actually know what that would, I can't manipulate a level directly, that's the problem, because the bot recalculates the level automatically, so we're going to see, I should in theory level up instantly, we'll have a look, test, there we go, so we did level up, what level, level 3, <laughs> that was only level 3, how vicious is this, uh, so, okay, we should, do we should get away with a thousand, it doesn't really matter, just as long as it's between 5 and 9, I do want to at least show the first one, so we are level 5, okay, that actually worked, and we didn't get any rolls. Why did it error? It didn't error. It just didn't give us the rolls. Interesting. I don't know why did that happen. Oh, <laughs> I've seen the problem. We are. I'm actually done. Instead of passing the new level, we're passing the old level. <laughs> So currently, because I am level 2 in the database, I don't know if it's saved, okay, we killed the pop before it's saved. Because I was level 2 in the database, it's actually passing level 2 in, not level 5. So we need to pass this in, and then it will actually... Oh my word. That, that was actually just dumb on my part. So we should, because it didn't save, it should just give us the... Uh... Oh, an error occurred. How interesting. Remember, there's no attribute add roll. Because it's add rolls, not add roll. Oh, I'm good. I'm real good. <sighs> Thankfully, in Sublime, this is easy to fix. <laughs> pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the, the default for this is control, control D. I remapped it to Alt D in Sublime. I generally use VS Code nowadays, so that is... I left it as Control D. So I believe it's Control D in Sublime if you want to be able to do that. This should now just work. Level ups. Oh, the log happened. We, yeah, we got the roll. So we got the roll. So now we have we have the black roll now. Woo! So we actually have the correct roll. Now I'm gonna wait for the database to save just so we can uh, go on level five. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna give myself some more XP, just a random number. I don't know. I'll give myself five thousand. See what level that gives us. Actually, it does need to be in order. That's interesting. Yeah, it does need to be in order, but in theory that shouldn't be a problem. If you're just starting from zero, that's not going to be a problem. If you're building a system where you trawl back through the server's message history and retroactively count everyone's XP, you will need to make some modifications to this. But if you don't want to do that, then you don't need to. You don't, you don't need to um, make any changes like that. But I'm going to go into... I think 5,000 should be alright. So we are now... We should be... Yay! 5,000 should be... Oh, 56,000, goodness. I actually don't know. This is just going to be trial and error, really, with the numbers. Because, yay. <laughs> I mean, the, we built a system that uh, for the computer to calculate this on purpose. Level 13. That should be the second one. There we go. So the black roll has been removed and the purple one has been given to us. So again, it doesn't matter which level inside that bracket, just as long as it's actually in that bracket. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, that is a functional level system. As I said, if you're if you're building it from level zero and you're just going from the start, that will work perfectly fine. If you are doing an XP traceback system where it retroactively counts, you will need to make modifications. You all you'll probably need to do is add this check that I took away for the removal of the roll. So you'll probably want to do this if all roll thing. And beyond that. Uh, you're fine. Of course, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in the video, leave them in the comments section, or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. And while you're in there, I have all sorts of other social avenues that you can have a look at, which are all also in the description, so feel free to take a look at those. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. If you liked it, then say hello down below. If you really liked it, then consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really liked the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon. It'd be a really cool thing if you to do, but of course you don't have to. With that in mind, I would like to thank my super patrons, Adandrea and Jackstar. And I will see you next time for probably not Discord.py request stuff. There will be more of it, but I'll probably have other videos going up next. So I'll see you for those.